all these fine young ladies everywhere I go. Man, I'm just a young man out here trying to get my life, yo. It's crazy though. Cause, Cause I guess you could say I'm resilient. Cause when I first got diagnosed, I didn't even feel sick, I felt strong. And I didn't even want to believe it. Started to think like, everybody I've been with, who, who could have gave it to me? It could, it could have been one out of hundreds. So I started scrolling through my phone, figuring out who it was. Then I started thinking, I could be one hell of a serial killer. Cause that'd have been a lot of people. It's crazy. To this day, I don't even want to believe it. And I, I was so young. Feel so hurt about it. You got to resist in order to exist. Oh man, when I first got diagnosed, I couldn't even believe it. All I would do was get up, go to work, and come home. That's it. I don't want to see anybody. It, it just didn't make sense to me. Why do I have HIV? I did everything right. I went to church every Sunday. I treated women in my life really good, but still, I was diagnosed with HIV. Then I started to think to myself, maybe if I keep living my life as though it's not there, it might just go away. You know, leave. Just like Ken, Elaine, and Tanya did. But now I'm stuck with this medication, Stride Bill. And I gotta take that every night. How long can I hide it? Who can I talk to? Who can I tell? My life had become an emotional hell. But when I got honest, that's when I got better. Brothers, sisters, get honest and get tested. You got to resist in order to exist. Yeah. I feel you, brother. At first, man, I was so obsessed with trying to figure out who gave it to me. I was, I was trying so hard to, 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 to figure that out. And all, all, all I could feel was, was, was emptiness. So I, I thought I'd just give up. You know, just tie it all up. But it was there, inside of that pit of darkness, that I started to dig inside myself and gather myself together. I went inside myself to find the strength to withstand the pain. This illness, it's a personal warfare. But I will not be defeated. I'm still fighting and helping others to accept their diagnosis. In order to exist.